in a recent report from the american cancer society it has been revealed that breast cancer diagnoses among women under 50 are on the rise even as death rates from the disease continue to decline since 1989 breast cancer deaths in the u.s have decreased by 44 percent primarily due to advancements in early detection and treatment However, the number of new cases has been increasing by about 1% each year, particularly among women younger than 50, where the rate is 1.4% annually. The report, published in CA, a cancer journal for clinicians, highlights that Asian American and Pacific Islander women have seen an even sharper increase in diagnoses, with rates rising up to 2.7% per year. Lead author Angela Giaquinto expressed concern that while survival rates have improved, the ongoing rise in breast cancer cases could hinder future progress. Dr. William Dahat, the chief scientific officer at the ACS, emphasized that although women today are less likely to die from breast cancer, significant disparities remain, especially among certain racial and ethnic groups. Breast cancer is now the second most common cancer among women, just behind skin cancer, and this year, about 310,720 women will be diagnosed with invasive breast cancer, with around 42,250 expected to die from the disease. The increase in breast cancer cases among younger women is complex and still under investigation. Experts suggest that rising obesity rates and delayed childbirth may contribute to the trend, as both factors can elevate estrogen levels, a key driver of certain breast cancers. Environmental toxins found in everyday products could also play a role, as they may disrupt hormonal balance. Additionally, genetic factors, such as mutations in the BRCA1 and BRCA2 genes, significantly increase breast cancer risk. The COVID-19 pandemic may have further complicated the situation, leading to delays in screening and diagnosis. To combat rising breast cancer rates, women are encouraged to discuss screening options with their doctors, as early detection is crucial for improving survival rates. The U.S. Preventive Services Task Force now recommends that women start getting screened at age 40. It's also important for women to be aware of their family history and personal risk factors, as well as to maintain a healthy lifestyle. This includes moderating alcohol consumption, keeping a healthy weight, and staying active, since about 30% of breast cancer cases can be linked to lifestyle choices.